Greetings. I want to address something real quick. When it comes to the punk and Africans teaching that Africans are living a jungle life, that Africans are not civilized, that um, black people are cursed, and that their feature, their phenotype, is the essence of ugliness. You have some people who don't have anything better to say than, well, he says some good things, he makes some good points, and that's incredible. For example, Kwanzaa, that whack holiday plagiarized from Hanukkah. The founder, Karenga, tortured black women. And here, how can I call them? The French punk Pan-Africans don't have anything better to say than, well, you don't judge a man, you judge his work. So you can torture black women, women, not just one, and people will still praise you. These punk pan Africans will still praise you. They will still defend you. And they will say, don't judge a man, you judge his work. What kind of work mentality is that? I mean, so now, you mean to tell me that you are pan African? That you're looking forward, that you're looking forward to the progress? of African people, the pride, the honor, the respect, and you have teachings, teachings that say that Africans are living the jungle life, that Africans are not civilized, that black people are cursed, that the kinky hair, thick lips, and broad nose is the essence of ugliness? How does that go together? Have you ever heard some Chinese people Let's say one Chinese guy, he says, well, Chinese people are cursed because they rebel from God, and that's why they had these eyes well, the way they are. Do you think some Chinese people will say, well, he says some good things, he makes some good points? That would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? You can do the same with all race or ethnicity. Like an Indian is going to talk about, well, Indian people or uh, uh, are cursed and that's why so and so and some Indians will say well he makes some good points and some good things hell no they're going to be like what man get out of here with this BS but the punk pan Africans they are something else they are something else even the church of Scientology is good now even the Dianetics is good now no morals whatsoever where are your limits and when a white dude says a tenth a third, a fifth of what those people say, then they go crazy. How dare he? That's so xenophobic. That's so anti African. That's white supremacy. I have not even heard the KKK saying that Africans are living a jungle life, that Africans are, uh, and that black people are cursed. I haven't even heard them saying that. But anyway, the future generation will see. Future generation. This is 2019. You still have some punk pan Africans. Those people, all you have to do is just throw some money at them. They will shake their butt like strippers, man. Weaker than a mofo. Young generation in 2019, the pan Africans, to this day, and you can do the test, challenge them, and ask them what is your position regarding those organizations that are teaching that? Regarding the, regarding the organization that is teaching that. They are all together. They are all cool. It's all good. They don't care. It's not a problem to them. Negrophobic and anti-black teaching, anti-African teaching, is not a problem to them. The same people will want to teach about black pride. Do the test. Whatever organization that you're planning on joining or that you are already a member of, ask them, what is your position regarding that? You got to have a position. Or do you go with the wind? Or do you ride the fence? Do you straddle the fence? Anyway, it's going to be less than five minutes. Future generation, these punk pan Africans are something else. And I'm not even talking about the rape and the pedophilia yet. It will come later on. Take care.